Experience. Physical pain. Probably. It's probably a broken toe, I'd imagine. How'd you do that? Playing football, and then it sort of. I didn't feel it during the game, and afterwards I couldn't walk for two weeks, so a broken toe was pretty, uh, pretty painful and comfortable. Yeah. Did you do it early on in the game? Yeah, I did it. I think it was against Arsenal a couple of years ago on replay. I did it after about 20 minutes, and then I had an injection during the game and then played for the rest of the game and then a few hours later that evening it was, oh, it was awful and then I found out I'd fractured it and then I had a, a couple of, well I had a couple of weeks off and I was on, I could hardly walk for a couple of weeks so that was quite painful. Who was your first ever hero? Growing up I was a Chef, I was Sheffield United fan but we, uh, I think Keith Edwards was the striker I used to, to go and watch there um, and also uh, Brian Robson, I used to look up to him, I used to be a central midfielder in my younger days, so he was the one I, I sort of wanted to aspire to be, I suppose. Who's the most famous person on your mobile? Famous person on my mobile? Um... Matt Letizier? Matt Letiz, maybe? He'll do. Yeah. Apart from cars and houses, what's your most extravagant purchase ever? Uh, cars and houses. Other than that, probably a watch, probably a Frank Muller watch I bought a couple of years ago in Dubai um, for myself and, and my wife, so yeah, probably the watches. What's the best sitcom ever? I think probably Friends. I remember, I've not, I mean, I've not watched it for a while, but growing up, early 20s and stuff, Friends was used to be the one I used to, to watch all the time, I used to get all the box sets and watch them over, so I'd probably say Friends for me. Who's your favourite ever sportsman? Favourite ever sportsman? Mm. I'd probably say Pele. I'd say Pele probably. It's just, I think you look back at the old, you know, from Boys, what's the, the DVD they made from Boys to Brazil or something, and just looking at the old, like, World Cups and stuff and, and seeing him is, is probably the best sportsman for me. Are you Andy in a fight? Uh, I, I'd like to think I could look after myself. Um, I've not had one for a, a number of years, so um, yeah, I think uh, the, the ones I've had, I've, I've handled myself fairly well, yeah. Have you ever been arrested? Nope, no criminal records as yet. Keep it that way. <laughs> if you had wings, would you have feathery ones or leathery ones? Uh, feathery, not a big fan of leather. <laughs> What's your favourite swear word? Um, Who would you do on stars in their eyes? <laughs> um, uh, stars in your eyes. Ronan Keaton, maybe. <laughs> Life is a roller coaster. What's the best film ever? Um, best film ever, I think. Maybe Braveheart or Gladiators. One of one of the best between them two, I'd say. <laughs> Have you got any recurring dreams? I do actually. I have. When I think, probably when I'm a bit stressed, I, I have this dream where I'm late for a match and um, I can't fit, I can't find a pair of boots that, that fit me. And the game sort of kicked off. It's like a cup final or something, and I just can't get on the pitch because I can't find any boots. And um, and when I get on there, I, I, I feel like I can't I can't run. And it's quite it's quite a bad feeling. So um, probably when I've got a bit of anxiety, I have that one. I don't know. I just wake up. I think in a sweat. It's just it's just a horrible feeling. If it's a big game, you want to get on the pitch, but I can't. Get, I can't find any boots to fit me. It's horrible. Last one. What's your signature dish? Signature dish. I'd probably say beef casserole. What from scratch? Yeah, yeah. Beef casserole. Not bad. Get the boys around occasionally. And we put one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Original content every day. Channel B. Join us.